Hello everybody, my name is Scouticus, and today I'm actually going to be reacting to all the terminal cutscenes from Halo CE Anniversary. Um, I don't do a lot of reactions, but this one was requested at the end of Halo 2 uh, by someone in the comment section. And I'm super interested in the lore. I got some of the terminals from both CE and from Halo 2, but I wasn't able to get all of them, so I'm going to be doing reaction videos to both. Um, and so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into Halo CE. Make sure that this isn't too loud. Warning! By order of Ecumen Council, proximity to Installation 04 is forbidden. Your continued presence will result in most unpleasant countermeasures. I must insist that you immediately change course and return to a minimum safe distance of one light year. <laughs> it's minimum safe distance. This one light year. Wow. And final warning. Oh, is that the. Oh. I have activated defensive systems, and you now have 30 seconds to return oh my to the Lord. minimum safe it's distance. The pillar of autumn, our boy. Wait. Curious. What they call us again? Curious indeed. After all these years. Greetings, humans, and welcome to Installation Zero Four. Um, Ignore prior warnings and please continue. I have disabled defensive systems to allow your approach, but you must not exit your ship once you have arrived at the designated landing center. This reef contains significant dangers, and even with your assumed legacy, I must verify the presence and pitch of your gauge before allowing full access. We have much to discuss. Why? How? Why I and how did I miss this? This is interesting already. You have been away far too long. How- how the fuck are we significant? I know they called us something in Halo 2 that was considered important. It started with an R, but I don't remember the actual word. I don't remember what it was. But us as humans- oh, this one I did see. Us as humans were considered very important. I am experiencing such a mixture of anticipation and dread. Yeah, I've seen this one. All I'm still gonna watch it. Are complete for my installation. In accordance with the final dictum of the Ecumene Council, I have released myself of all remaining connections to my former station. This was not difficult. What was could never be again. We had seen to that quite thoroughly. Prior to my final journey through the Great Portal, I'm guessing there's six halos then. Now that I'm looking at that. Upon the light workers crash, six to monitors. The final index collection. It was most unusual to have this vessel of rebirth play host seven to such monitors. Event. Even though seven life workers ships were the only Maybe. ones still allowed slip space permissions, life workers were responsible for getting us to our places on the active facilities of the array. While all of this was in accordance with the plan, one entirely unsatisfactory breakdown remained. We had no contact with the door. Thanks, audio. You're a real Chad. Okay, for whatever reason, the rest of that cutscene had no audio or very limited audio. Luckily, that one I had already seen, so we don't need to worry about that. But anyway. Oh, thanks. Construct, who is your maker? Sadness. Never made, but you are right here, where you should not be. Tell your charges to cease their efforts immediately. Or a team must not be violated. Who are you talking to there, buddy old pal? Construct, respond! Jungle grass. Familiar terms. I serve. Your charges must cease all aggression towards the reclaimers and leave this installation at once. This is like the freaking covenant version of Cortana. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old flood. This 
This is most inappropriate. We follow the path, and I am part of the stone journey swarm that serves. I, we serve. They will find, and then I will be free. Okay, Find, Venom. free, explain yourself. Unsatisfactory construct. Your core shows no hint of understanding the gravity of this situation. I will return later for your proper decommissioning. Well, unless the flood kills us all first. In which case, the point will be moved. I thought you but can't be construct. killed by the flood because you're not organic. And I'm guessing that thing isn't either construct. I don't know what the construct is. Don't know what side it's affiliated with or even if it is affiliated with a side. God damn, I need to start looking for terminals more in, in these games. <laughs> it has now been 3,000 years since my last contact with any of the other caretakers of the Halo Array. Despite their communications protocol, my fellow monitors have either chosen to ignore, or, more likely, have lost the ability to engage in our scheduled updates. The Just get zoom, my guy. ...means that we are stuck with achingly slow wormhole superluminal communications. Prior to this total communication shutdown, the only messages I received in the preceding 4,573 years were incomplete and quite perplexing transmissions from Installation 05. You're 04, right? I think, if I remember correctly. I suspected that Monitor 2401 Penitent Tangent was not functioning correctly for some time before his messages ceased. Wasn't he the one that said we deserve to be forgotten? I have lost my Fair concerns minute. about his ability to perform his duties. At this point, however, I'm not sure who I file logs for. 2401 may be destined for madness. There are failsafes for this, I know. How I do y'all go mad? I will continue to visit the projection systems at the assigned gates. Perhaps the other monitors are dealing with interfering galactic phenomena? Or unexpected system failures. Three thousand years of system failures. Indeed. In the meantime, I have exhausted all scheduled research activities assigned by the Council. Once those experiments were complete, I shut down all sentinel function and put myself into a state of significant hibernation. To measure performance of the installation with negligible upkeep. Okay, buddy. After 150 years with no noticeable impact upon installation systems or integrity, even in hibernation, I became bored. Well, I this was quite expectedly. As I was led to believe, I was not capable of such a state. This was one of the gifts I was promised. An end to strife. I am aware of the dangers of a system such as myself losing operational focus. Quite troubling. I wonder if my fellow monitors are experiencing similar states, or if this is because of my particular path to this installation. For amusement, I have begun a series of experiments involving the evacuation of all matter from contained sections of my installation. <laughs> a nice little hobby. You know everyone has got that. God damn. By measuring the geologic effects of exposure to the vacuum of space and the eventual biological recovery of these sections, I anticipate getting valuable insight into emergency response scenarios in case of sentient proximity warning. Is this us or the Covenant? <laughs> okay! <laughs> Don't know what that was! Is this video trustworthy? I don't know, I'm already too it far has been in. 26 hours since the sentients landed in sector 1215. And so far, they have not attempted to exit the remains of their vessel. I say remains because their landing was either not executed adequately or this vessel lacked significant maneuvering capability. 
the visible portions of the vessel have suffered catastrophic structural damage during the violent landing experience. I have detected atmospheric leaks in 17 distinct locations along the hull. My analysis shows that the mixture of gases coming from the ship matches the natural atmosphere on my installation almost exactly. Perhaps the occupants, if they still live, were originally cataloged here. Perhaps these beings will confirm that the plan was successful, and that the galaxy has returned to its proper cadence. I am beyond optimistic. But I do not understand why these sentients have not attempted to exit their vessel. Other than the leaking atmosphere, the only thing emanating from this wreckage is an automated distress call. I am currently translating this automated broadcast, but with such a limited data set, and no direct communication, I do not anticipate full comprehension. Given the short-range nature of this craft, it is likely that other vessels are nearby. But, in accordance with procedure, I am blocking the distress call. No communication of the location of any installation is permissible. Oof. I admit great curiosity about these visitors. While the plan is quite clear about procedure for this situation, I have my doubts. How many failure points can the plan sustain before blind adherence becomes counterproductive? Surely in light of all that has changed, I should be able to modify my responses to adapt to them. No. I have duties. And I have a terrible cargo here. I must be sure. I shall obey and content myself to monitor. I hope they come out soon, though. So many questions to ask. So many questions. Something gives me the idea that you're not fully robotic and you may be a little bit sentient in some way. Construction of a sarcophagus around the unexplained vessel was completed today. No occupants ever exited. No attempts to communicate were made, other than the automated broadcast that repeated every 72.83 seconds until the signal terminated one week ago. In accordance with procedure, no attempts at physical or remote contact were made with any survivors of this vessel's inelegant landing. You didn't even go in there and check? I mean, if you're that curious. two weeks before the signal ceased. No relationship between these two events can be established with certainty. Gases that did escape were sterilized. No further sign of alien visitors or rescuers has been identified on any sensor systems. I have now endured 60,000 years without word from outside the array. Jesus. I have no way to know whether we actually saved the galaxy we destroyed. And because of protocol, I sat silently while my first chance to be judged for those acts died. To say that I regret being forced to this outcome is a tremendous understatement. But as I performed my inspection of the quarantine labs today, I am reminded of the gravity of my responsibilities. Just one of these spores, if released from this facility, would render the ultimate judgment against our self-appointed role as protectors of this galaxy. When the plan to maintain the Halo Array was created, it was a point of some contention whether we should preserve any remnant of the blood infection. Many thought this unwise as there was a notable chance that one day one of our containment facilities might be breached. Those who held this belief were almost successful at convincing the Ecumen Council to destroy the last blood samples. But oddly enough, it was the librarian who decided otherwise. And I believe she was correct. I know in a way, I cannot logically explain that there exists a way to actually defeat the blood. To immunize? To cure? I still struggle with multiple layers of memory of fighting the blood. But I know this cure is possible, even though the poor genius of the Forerunners was unable to achieve it. The Forerunners' ancient enemy held and used that knowledge once. 
but it was denied to us. And without samples for further study, that cure will never again be found. I'm gonna need like more specification on what the four is. Of no reason to believe. So I've heard a you lot about it throughout all of these games. It may be waiting it, in the frozen void beyond this galaxy, or worse, inexorably drifting toward us. I don't know what survives out beyond my installation. I know I'm not talking a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm watching. To survive. I have to protect this installation and its quarantine very carefully. Yes. The library was right to store it, examine it, continue to seek a cure. Still, next visitor, things will be different. I still don't know what to think of these monitor boys. Is this you going mad now? Am I the only intelligence left? Waiting here on this ring for a reaver never truly conceived. Guarding a weapon with no targets. A weapon unattuned to any target. Alrighty, this buddy. Is not what I had in mind when I volunteered. Not what I had in mind at all. I was naive to think I understood what this installation meant. We were all so naive. Looking back, we should have done a few things differently. I guess, is that a For one thing, we should have installed two caretakers for installation. Because I am alone, I am losing focus. And that is very, very dangerous for a system such as myself. Perhaps a visit to the nearby gas giant is in order. My impulse drives could certainly make the journey. A few hundred years of travel might do me some good. <laughs> There it was again. How very unproductive of me. It seems strange that the library did not account for this. Their strength was always in planning and positioning the pieces and then being bold enough to let it happen. To let her plans come true. I was a part of many of those plans long before I knew for certain that she was real. Before any of us were. But at the end, we had only a fragment of her brilliance left to us. And I fear that she did not fully appreciate the nature of my situation here. The problems it might pose. But even a fragment of fragment. Fragment, yes. Oh. Oh dear, here it comes again. Thousand light years. That is the effective range of this installation. According to the star charts I found out for this installation, I estimate that there are 3,792 worlds capable of sustaining biological sentient life within that 25,000 light year range. It's a pretty long In reality, range. It may be significantly more than that. And if the full array was tuned and activated by installation 00, the harmonics of the overlapping waves would magnify that effect exponentially, cascading to cover every known star system. And that only considers the firing of a mere seven halos. Yeah, there are seven, okay, okay. The original twelve rings survived to see yours. Twelve of Sterilization would spread far further than most Oh, is it because some of them got fully infected, maybe? I saw that in the cutscene earlier. Even with just seven rings, we were able to destroy every side of the planet and every other sentient creature along with it. So he's not like a bad this dude. He's just got people, the wrong the idea. Well. <laughs> but by our empiric measurement, he was a victory and cleared the stage for the rest of the librarian's plan. I sometimes wonder whether the didact could have succeeded at a much smaller cost. I heard the folly of opposing him personally, and his brilliance was unsurpassed. Except, perhaps by her own. He never got the chance to fully execute his proposal. The Council saw to that. 
But if something were to go wrong with one of the halos, if our tools were ever turned against us, long plans, indeed. Oh boy, and then the Covenant and us, we're all planning on using it as a freaking, uh, as a weapon. Hmm, no thanks. I forgot something. What? Oh wait, I thought it was something else, just kidding. My name. I forgot. Oh, uh, Keys. Jacob. Captain, uh? service number 01928-19912-JK. Just kidding. What is that noise? What is that damn noise? Is this noise? after he had been turned into the Flood? Where am I? I'm guessing. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. What do they see, I guess? What do they think when they're taken? Him. Didn't I? Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't remember. Damn it, I wish I saw this while I was playing Jeez, the game. Jacob. Oh, God, it hurts. This will never work, you covenant bastards. Oh, he I'll never it's a lead you to Earth. I mean, he kind of was, not really. I guess they released the Covenant. Captain. Service number 01928-19912-JK. Oh, God. You don't want Earth. You want everything. Get out of my head. <laughs> Is that you? Is... Forget everything. No, please. Don't let me forget. Keys. Jacob. Captain. Service number. 1928 No more. What you were. Memory. They did a good job at like Emotions. I don't know this cutscene. Like I don't know what it, I don't know what else to describe it. Is now ours. Like just the sound design and all that. I can feel his pain Jeez. without actually, you know. Jacob. I don't know. Captain. Just good good job. One nine two eight dash one nine nine one two dash JK. And the voice acting. We already do. Big Venom vibes. Great to know while I was playing the game. I wish I just looked harder for more terminals. Although I don't think they fully understand what they claim to seek. Still, 
It makes no difference to me what they see, as long as they do what must be done. Hmm. I sound like her. Oh, but what I would not give to have even a single company of Prometheus here right now. Oh, they would most certainly restore order with their trade monthly bounty. Although, that would mean he would have to be here too. And without the library and around to temper his rage. Well, these reclaimers might almost prefer the plug. I feel like he is the big worm thing that we met in Halo 2. Oh. Uh, I... Mm, just when I, like, start to get a little bit of grasp on the lore from the games alone, I watch this and realize that I really don't understand a single thing. Oh my goodness. So humans are the reclaimers, and that makes me wonder if the forerunners were somehow related to humans, because they're both considered significant to the cause of the monitors. Covenant honestly has probably nothing to do with the monitors, like at all. They just it's just a religious thing. They think that Halo is a religious vessel and that the monitors are oracles, all that but they don't directly affect the monitors or their cause. I don't know who's, I, okay. So as far as I'm getting for the, as far as I'm understanding for the monitors at the very least, it's, they're not exactly fully quote unquote evil. They just are sacrificing others for the greater good of multiple planets. Now, there are people that will say that's evil and then there are people that will say they're it's not. Mm, I I think that they're not exactly evil. They just got a wrong idea about how to protect. But I don't know. I want I want more information on the forerunners and what the reclaimer means in its entirety. I think that's the two main things that I am a little bit confused on. And really everything that has to do with the monitors. Like, I understand the religious aspects, I think, for the Covenant, and I understand, of course, the human aspects, because, well, it's usually self-explanatory. I want to, I, man, I want to learn more about the monitors, and I, I might learn more when I uh, watch the Halo 2 anniversary terminal cutscenes. That was my reaction to all uh, Halo CE anniversary terminal cutscenes. Um, I thought I saw more... <laughs> But uh, evidently, I only saw one out of however many that was. That was probably like, I don't know, 10 or something. I only saw one, so I'm glad I watched this video, because that really got me, you know, thinking. Got me a good idea. Not a good idea. A good set of questions, rather. Good idea means that I probably already know what I'm talking about. To which I respond, I fucking don't. So, got me a good set of questions <laughs> regarding the lore. Um... And they were all fascinating, too. Like, I wasn't talking a lot, and it was because, like, every single sentence was a new... I don't know. It's something something else that I'm learning. Something... Some other idea that's being brought up. Anyway, that was my reaction to all uh, Halo CE Anniversary Terminal cutscenes. Um, I will see you when I do the Halo 2 Anniversary Terminal cutscenes, and thank you for watching.